Honda expects a 1.8 second drop in 060 time over the first gen model, which our math computes as a 6.5 second run for estimated best in class acceleration. The pilot's 3.5 liter cylinder bank deactivating V6 with 280 horsepower and 262 pounds to feet of torque paired with a 6 speed automatic transmission using the exact same final drive and individual gear ratios arouses the ridge line. Flattening the gas pedal doesn't produce the typical rear wheel spinning drama you'd expect from a truck, but it feels strong once you're going. The compromise is the ridge line uses an honest to goodness, not by breaking torque vectoring rear differential that promises fantastic real world drive force without having to resort to low range or manual diff locking. In moments of need, up to 70% of available power is circulated to the rear. A D4 button on the console shifter acts as a de facto tow, hull switch by never allowing the tranny to shift above the 1.065 colon 1 fourth gear. There's no means for manual gear selection, but you can bang the engine's rev limiter for as long as you're in the gas while the shifter is in the L position. There's little more that needs to be said about the features, the home run goodies that owners love, that have made the Ridgeline a Ridgeline. There's the 7.3 cubic foot in bed trunk, now reduced by 1.2 cubic feet, the flip up rear seat, and the dual action tailgate, which lowers and also swings open from the side. By setting reasonable new model goals and improving the consumer consideration items that matter most, from on-road comfort to technology to fuel economy, the Ridgeline is a lot to successfully keep things weird in the mid-size truck segment for years to come.